Hello one and all and welcome back to Gent Watches and we are doing once again Ranking of Kings. This will be episode 2 of the show. So, uh, quick recap. Last time, last episode was the introduction to the series. We got introduced to our boy Bo Bo Boji, uh, who is a deaf and mute uh, child who is in line to possibly be the king. Now, here's some clarification. I don't know, I don't know what's true anymore. Um, I was, I, like, I recorded the last video last night or something, um, and then I sort of realized uh, that while I was editing it and looking at the footage, that maybe what I said was wrong, and maybe Boji isn't definitely in line to be the king. I think that's what I what I thought was that Boji was like he he's guaranteed to be the king, and he's just doing it for pride. And I think I talked about it for like ten minutes or something in the discussion. Um, that might not be true, because I I realized it's called ranking of kings, and while editing the video, it sounded like it was alluding to the fact that actually, you know, the person who's going to become the king is the person who gets the highest ranking of kings. But so I so I don't know. Um, I, I'm not sure, but I'm sure this will get clarified as the show goes on, and if it doesn't, I'm sure I'll find out one way or another. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it today. I don't have much to preamble this one with. I did a five minute preamble last time, so let's just get right into this one. Here we go. Someone in town figured out I was a member of the Shadow Clan. So he, he is. He is definitely Shadow Clan. This OP is so good, I can't properly include it within the video, otherwise it'll get... Uh, copyright picked up content I need. I can show myself jamming out to it though. Oh, it's a really good OP. Okay, I don't know what that says except episode two. But it'll be the title of this YouTube video, so it's fine. Whatever the title of this YouTube video is. Oh my gosh! There's several of the Shadow Clan. So do all Shadow Clan look like Kage? Oh, um, I guess so. Look at him. <laughs> hey! What? Nigel Thornberry? You are so precious to me. My it's so body. strange. Right. Now go. Quickly. Like a 2D creature design. I'll crush them. Like one that's 2D even in this universe, you know? You. Was that magic? No, Uh-oh. Running into people is not good, uh, especially if there's. Oh, this is this is the mother. My, it isn't the young countess poised. Did a shadow clan child countess. By here, miss? Creepy little girl. Countess. She is kind of creepy. You have our thanks. Oh. Did you finish it yet? Did she hide him on purpose? Fled into the toxic forest, sir. the matter please be on your way sirs you're frightening the young lady we beg your pardon oh guess what let us go so she okay all right i think i almost missed that but she was As crying well, to cover up so for aid, kage so this is all we have to give you'll reach another That's sweet. further down this path see you Aww. Now, i you must be on our way take to back what i said about her being creepy she's not that's she's cute, man. I didn't think we were gonna get Kage backstory this early. I thought it was gonna be like that's gonna be like a reveal at like episode four or five or something. But I guess it makes sense. Here it is. Do you have to eat? I guess so. You have a stomach that rumbles like humans. Well, we haven't seen that toy in the modern day, have we? Like in. So I feel like that's gonna get taken away or destroyed or something. Can I trade you this for an apple? If you wanna buy something, bring money. I'll take four of these, please. Of course. That meant everything to him, and it still. She still didn't care. Oh. Right he now. still traded it anyway. He could have just stolen it. But he left like what he thought was worth it. Does he lose it now? So, he doesn't even get the... 
the thing he traded for? Oh, great. Thanks for the rotten fish, dude. Oh, I appreciate you bringing me the most disgusting thing possible. So he's like using Kage and literally giving him scraps. Which is like, I mean, better than nothing, better than letting Kage die, but... Man, the ones smiling the biggest are the most evil in this show, it seems like. <laughs> well, he's gonna have so... He's gonna be rich and still be feeding Kage scraps. Still just rotten fish. He's gonna purposefully rot out fish just to feed Kage there rotten fish. Go. You're cut. Mm. He's looking for any. So he's very much like Boji, it feels like. Damn it, how could I have lost again? Looking for a Damn connection for to someone. <laughs> That's why we couldn't object if someone were to try and kill all of us down the line. But why do you do that stuff? Interesting Perhaps philosophy. These bodies of ours. They're perfectly suited to doing awful things. What a weird upbringing. We do everything we can. So it's a very self-serving species. Like just, we only care about our own, but we're, we won't begrudge those who do the same, you know? I feel like that's the idea. There, it just looks out the window. After it, hurry. What? Well, okay. We, after all of that? Making me angry. Still staying by his side? Kage, it's okay. Whoa. Whoa. Just stabbed in self-defense. Oh, I hope he doesn't say something awful at the end. Nothing? Get out of here. Yeah, okay. I thought he was going to say something terrible at, at the end to Kage that would have really ruined Kage. Well, now I really want him to find Boji. <laughs> Come on! Hey! I'm not buying that. That's bad customer service. There we go. Okay, that was a nice backstory. And now we're back to this cool scene. <laughs> I love that. I love just the bonk. You just got bonked. I never realized Prince Boji was so capable. If it was like a poisoned sword, like. He'd be good with a poison sword, because he just needs to hit someone once, right? Probably the angrier he gets, the more predictable his moves are going to be, right? He's going to do more of a swing up. Oh, look at all those hits! Yes, Boji. Say, doesn't Prince Boji's way of fighting seem a bit dirty? True. What? Underhanded. Disgusting. He's a sneak. That's it! What? Wow. Watching, it seems he's making sport of his opponent's desperate efforts, and that's turning them against him. But this right. kind of trickery is the only way for someone so weak to survive. So what will you do? So he can't win. He can't. You can't do anything about that. He loses brother. no matter what. I can't read sign language. Either what did he way, say? It needed to be said. What did he say? He say stop dodging. Oh, oh! No! Somebody stop him! Oh yeah, you're all alright with this. When Boji was just dodging it, you're all like, "This is disrespectful." But now that he's just beating him down, oh, Kage's having flashbacks. Oh. Match over. Prince Dida has prevailed. What happened? Someone get him a doctor now. Ah, that is not the swordsmanship of a king. The two of you must trade blows. 
That's okay, yeah. So he essentially said stop dodging. <laughs> the two of you must trade blows. No, if I'm the only one getting blows in, I'm taking that. He was born under a star that won't let him grow stronger. I truly pity him. He was what? Born under a star that won't let him grow stronger? Is that just like horoscope so that was Domus? stuff or? What if it hit him in the eye and he just died there? Boji, you don't need to prove anything. <laughs> oh, Kage. Won that fight and made it look easy, okay? Yeah. Hold your head up high, kid. You were doing just fine fighting your own way, so don't let any of those fools tell you not to. Oh, <laughs> look at this smile. Uh, hi. Listen, I'm not taking anything else from you anymore, got it? Oh. I don't know how this is gonna sound, and I get that it's out of nowhere. I just, I'm on your side, all right? No mm -hmm. matter what happens. He's he's trying to be the mentor that he needed. And I mean what I'm saying. I've got your back from now on, Boji. Always. He's not gonna feed you fish scraps. Oh. <laughs> I wanna hear those like high notes again. There's one. There it is. Whoo, okay. Um, well, that was better than the first episode. Uh, I, 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 I liked that uh, quite a bit more. Now knowing, uh, it, it, it's definitely a lot better now knowing Kage's backstory. I, I, I have a weird relationship with um with like flashbacks um, in anything, in anime and whatever. Um, because whenever a flashback starts, I'm, I'm subconsciously against it, like right away. Like not just flashbacks, but uh, you know, pr prequels or backstories, like all of this stuff. As soon as it starts, I'm subconsciously against it most of the time, you know? Um, as it goes on, I, I think 90% of the time it ends up justifying itself and I end up liking it. And then when I'm rewatching it, I like the flashback stuff. But while I'm watching stuff, I, I'm constantly wanting things to push forward in the story rather than like sending us back, you know? Um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying that to make it clear uh, that like I start with a bias against those sorts of scenes for no real reason. So when I uh, when I say that that's like a really great part of the episode and that I really enjoyed they put it in, that means something I think because like I if if I didn't think it was like if I didn't think it needed to be in there, I think I would have said so. And I think it would have hurt my enjoyment of the episode, but I do think it needed to be there. I do think we really, really needed this for Kage, and I'm glad they put it in there because if they had started this episode just from like that halfway point where it cuts back into where the episode left off last time, and it had them in the middle of the sword fight, and then Kage, like, you know, was looking at him with this respect and this love and went in to try to save him and then, like, picked him up later, you know, all of those things definitely wouldn't mean very much, I don't think originally because I in episode one I wasn't attached to Kage really like I did I guess I didn't really like him very much in the first episode and I don't think you're supposed to I think it's expected you're not supposed to because he's literally robbing Boji <laughs> he's like he's taking advantage of Boji like everyone else in the world is and now that we've seen his backstory we can see that the world was forcing him to take advantage of, like, if he had, well, yeah, I think, I think the best example 
is him having that little toy car, or I no, I don't think it was a car because cars don't exist in this universe. I think it was a duck or a horse or something, right? He had this little toy that meant a lot to him, and it was the only thing he was carrying around. And then he he offers immediately to trade it for one apple. It's one apple that's gonna last him, you know, a few days or whatever. Like that, I, I don't know how long he needs, to, how much he needs to eat, but it'll last him like a day. And then he needs to get more food. But he was gonna trade in the most important thing that he had for one apple. And they said no. <laughs> and then he tried to do it by force, where he's like, oh, I know this is worth a lot, so here, you take that and I will take the apple. And then he let he tried to leave, and then they took it away from him. They didn't give him back his toy. So I think the the important thing there is if he had just tried to like take advantage of other people in that situation by just stealing it instead of trading for it, just stealing it. If he had done that, he wouldn't have lost the thing that was important to him. And he would have, and like maybe he would have got away with the apple. Who knows? Maybe that extra few seconds of him putting down the toy, maybe they noticed the toy first and they're like, what's that there? Oh, someone's getting away with an apple, you know? Maybe those extra few seconds would have mattered a lot. Maybe he would have gotten away with the food. So maybe he would have not only had food to eat, but not lost his important thing all in one if he had just taken advantage of other people. But he didn't do that because he was a good person at the t or a good shadow clan at the time. And so he, he had to grow up and learn to take advantage of people. And he learned from that father figure type guy he had. I don't know what to call him. I, I didn't want to call him... I don't want to call him anything respectful because he was a terrible guy. And it's really, really sad that Kage had only a favorable opinion of him until the end, in a way. Like, he, on his deathbed or on his death floor... He was still like crying for him and mourning his loss, even though this is a guy who sold him out and then and then after selling him out, still didn't let him come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, very very good episode. That final scene was great with with Boji and Kage connecting and Kage being like, "Look, I'm not gonna steal from you anymore because we're we're together now. We're gonna we're gonna do this together." Um, there's a, there's a lot of lore stuff that, as I said last time, I'm bad at taking in lore stuff, and I'm not quite sure what's going on yet, and I, I, I'm worried that I missed a thing or two. Maybe I, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, the thing is, sometimes, you know, you'll think you missed something, but it's just a show setting us something up for later. Um, so it's possible that I, that's all that was. But, for example, the, um, when Kage, like was darting towards it when Boji was about to get hit and then something happened and there was a guy standing on a roof and then the guy was ended up pointing that spear at the sword master and stuff like that that whole scene uh i i i'm feeling those were just hints to a story to come and not the setup of a story to come does that make sense because hints you don't need to understand you can figure those out retroactively, but the prologue of a story to come, you kind of do need to understand. So I'm trying to figure out which of those it was because I didn't understand what was going on there, but I think I wasn't supposed to, so that's okay. But regardless, as I said, this was I, I liked this episode more than episode one, and I'm more into the story now, and I'm more excited for episode three. So we're going to see next time we do this uh, what I think of this show as it goes on. Um, thank you for joining me for episode 3's reaction, or episode 2's reaction, sorry, of Ranking of Kings. Um, if you enjoy this, if you want more, if you want to add anything to the discussion or clarify anything, comments down below are perfect for that. Liking the video really helps me out and subscribing to the channel is going to be super helpful, especially in these early days of this channel. So um, thank you for watching everyone and uh, goodbye. <laughs>